Here's our floating row cover on our bed out by the ditch beside our beautiful zinnia still. And that's what we're doing to get ready for frost. You can see Teresa over here looking in and inspecting this one. We've done the same thing on Sarah? this one. There are onions, huh? Yeah, you, I, you probably can't see them on the sound. There's a few I can see right there. A lot of greens. And we did the same thing in the garden past the muscadines here. except we tinted them out here. We strung wire between poles and we used clips and we got three of our five rows covered and we're preparing for that frost that's coming. Maybe tonight, if not two nights from now. We have to get out here in just a few minutes and harvest the rest of those tomatoes. But, that's what we did today. I want to show you something I've been doing since I've retired. This is a walking stick. And I've been doing some paracord work, making some paracord bracelets and putting uh, wrappings on walking sticks. But I really wanted to show you this walking stick, how, how unique it is. We set it out up at Dogwood Trace on the uh, deck and it's hickory and you see something got under the bark I don't know what it was but it really ate and made all those tunnels and I don't think that it's termites I think it was some kind of a beetle but I'm not sure so I'd like for you to comment and tell me what you guys think. But that's something that I've been doing. I've been doing some paracord wrappings. Making some walking sticks. Some bracelets for the grand nieces and nephews. And the people in the family. So give me your comments. Let me know what you think. What did that to that walking stick. So thanks for coming along with us on our channel. Thanks for spending time with us. We really appreciate you taking time out of your day to come visit us. God bless you. See you on the next video.